Hey guys, it's Sid. So today I decided I would pull out my vlog camera. I did a live stream recently on Instagram and a lot of you guys have been asking me to vlog more. It's really hard because I'm like so busy with my main channel, especially with back to school videos. I will try my best to vlog more. So for today's vlog, I am going to be doing a little senior photo shoot thing. So if you guys didn't know, I'm actually going to be a senior in high school this upcoming year, which is like crazy. A lot of high school students on their senior year will get like senior pictures. So the imagery is a photo studio in Minnesota and they do a lot of senior pictures So basically I'm just going to be taking you guys along with me on my little senior picture photo shoot So I'm gonna be picking out a few outfits My pictures aren't really gonna be traditional senior pictures because they're kind of just like pictures for my own Instagram feed and stuff like that just because I have a YouTube channel It's like really important to keep up your Instagram feed. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick out a few outfits for that So I'm at the Mall of America. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's go! I got all of my outfits. So I just got back from shopping. I think it went pretty well. I'm actually using this light. <laughs> but I'm about to do my makeup. So I thought I'd kind of like show you guys what I like to do. I get a lot of questions as like how I do my makeup every day. I like to keep my makeup pretty natural and light. I don't like to go too crazy and I pretty much do the same thing every day. So yes, I will kind of like talk to you guys about how I do my makeup. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. I hear this like screaming and drum beating. Like I feel like there's some like tribe gathering. That's so weird. I absolutely love this Buxom Show Me Some Skin Foundation. It's so, so nice because it is actually super like light coverage. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face. And then I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Also guys, my Beauty Blender is so, so like ugly. My dog totally destroyed it. We got a new puppy like a year ago and no, actually probably two years ago now. She's so cute except for she like destroys everything. Like if you leave out shoes, she will chew them to shreds. Okay, not to shreds. But, like I had these really cute sandals that I bought and then I left them in my living room on the floor. And of course she, um, chewed them to shreds. Not, okay, why do I keep saying to shreds? Not to shreds, but you chewed them, so now I can't wear them. It really stinks. And the same thing happened like, with my mom's glasses. The dog, like, when we, it's always when we leave the house. Like, I don't know if she's mad that we're leaving or, like, what? But she always goes crazy. We don't understand why she goes so crazy, because when we're home, she's never like that. Now that I have on my concealer, I am going to add some translucent powder. Where's my brush? Okay, I think I'm just gonna use this because I cannot find my brush. Oh, and this powder is Rimmel London Stay Matte and Transparent. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to my eyebrows. I like to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I really just like to lightly fill in my eyebrows. I don't like to do anything too crazy. I think I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer. I really like this fluffy brush. This one's from Coastal Scents. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped that. And I love this bronzer. This is from Too Faced. It's the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And it smells like chocolate, which is like one of my favorite things. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a little bit of blush. This is the new California blush. It's supposed to be like really summery and just really, really cute. I love it. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of highlight. I'm just going to use this small brush. You're probably supposed to use a fan brush, but my fan brush doesn't work at all. So I just kind of lightly like go like this, I don't know. And then I blend it with a fan brush so it looks all even. So again, my dog chewed my eyelash curler. Can you guys see that? Look at that, she totally destroyed it. So this is the CoverGirl Lash Bloom Mascara. Um, this is in the shade Very Black, I think. Yeah, Very Black. This has probably been my favorite mascara for like at least a year now. I really, really like this. Now I'm gonna be doing my eyeshadow with this Tarte Palette. I don't really use primer for this. It just, it makes it look less natural, I feel like. I just do like a little bit. I like to use Sweetheart. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. I like to pretty much either curl it or straighten it for like pictures and for videos. I really like to use this heat protectant. This is the Chi Iron Guard. Okay, 
So now I have my curls done. It look like a five-year-old still. It's okay. I'm going to take out the hair binders. Okay. I do usually touch up a few on top just since it usually there's like not a ton of texture on the top so I like to just add a few more curls this off by setting my hair with this like heat per thermal active setting spray it's called matrix bio lace styling and then when I get there I may or may not kind of like run my fingers through the curls just so they like loosen up a little bit because they are still a little bit tight but I know if I do that now then they will like totally fall out by the time I get there okay guys please ignore my nest my messy messy please ignore my messy room i do have like some clothes in my bed because i'm all like planning for the photo shoot and stuff like that but stephanie from the imagery actually gave me a few tips for you guys and just like for me and for anybody who may be doing senior pictures soon that like need some advice i found this really helpful so i really wanted to share this with you guys even if you're not going to be a senior and you're not getting senior pictures just like if you're ever having a photo shoot i find this really helpful her first tip is to wear clothes that will match your eyes I have brown eyes if you can tell. For some reason I find that blues and like purples tend to complement my brown eyes. She also stressed how you want to choose outfits that aren't just spring and summer. Some outfits that maybe for fall or for winter, specifically for senior pictures if you're going to have these in your house. It might be nice to have a couple that are long sleeve and some that are short sleeve just to add some variety. Another thing is thinking just about like casualness. Like for me when I think of a photo shoot automatically I just think oh my gosh I need to dress up for a photo shoot obviously you don't have to be super dolled up just to go to a photo shoot this is pretty casual and I honestly like the more casual aesthetic but it's also important at the same time to have something that's also on the nicer side I think like her main point is just to have variety for your pictures and this one I literally did not think about and this one is definitely more for senior pictures so if you're thinking about just like a photo shoot with friends this would not apply but for senior pictures it's really important to pick an outfit or pick a prop or something that will illustrate your extracurricular activities that you may be in. For example, if you're a basketball player, like my little brother, for his senior pictures, he's probably going to want to be holding a basketball. I think it would add a lot of interest and it'd be fun to look back on, like your sports and stuff like that. So yeah, those are just some tips that the imagery gave me. I thought that they were really helpful and again, I just wanted to tell them to you guys because the imagery is awesome. Like they have such awesome pictures. If you are in Minnesota at all, definitely check out the imagery. But I hope that these tips could help you guys if you're doing senior your pictures soon or even if you're just like doing a photo shoot soon i hope that those tips help you guys but yeah i'm gonna head on over to the imagery photo studio so i will see you guys when i get there hey guys so right now i'm at the imagery and i'm doing a little photo shoot as you can see this is like behind the scenes here's a little behind the scenes look vlog i hope that you guys liked it i'm actually filming this outro on my main camera because my vlog camera just like stopped working and i don't really know why but anyways i hope that you guys liked the vlog i hope that you enjoyed kind of seeing a photo shoot behind the scenes and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Finding life along the way.